This is your host, the Apostle Reuben, with another short Bible lesson. Now, we're taking a look at the word reward. Reward. Let's read the definition. A thing given in recognition of one's service, effort, or achievement. So a reward is something given in the recognition of one's service, which is work, effort, which is work, and it takes work to get the achievement. These are another, these service and effort are words that equal to work. It's something that you have to do. And there's the achievement behind it. So that's what a reward is. Recognition of one's service, effort, or achievement. So let's go to the Bible. Let's get the book of Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So this is talking about the law. As the Christians say in context. Verse 8, the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Ah, so the, the laws, the statutes of the laws are right and pure. Hmm. The fear of the Lord is clean. Ah, so the fear of the Lord is clean. Hey, yo, let's, let's look at this. Because it, sometimes people say, well, it says the fear of the Lord is clean, not the law. Psalms 112 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. Feareth the Lord that delighteth greatly in his commandments. So to fear the Lord is to keep the law. That's what the fear of the Lord is. So Psalms 19 and 9, the fear of the Lord is clean. The keeping of the law is clean, enduring forever. Also, the law endures forever. If the law is to endure forever, how can it be done away? Yes. What we be talking about, brothers and sisters, these. We say it to you. When these people come a knocking. We're talking about in your mind. Got to get away. Go. These Sunday pastors are worthless. It's about the dollar to them. Good life. The fear of the Lord is clean. Enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous together. Hmm, so... Clean, true, and righteous. Pay attention. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Here's what I want you to see. Moreover, by them, which are the laws, thy servant is warned. Ah, so by the laws, you're warned because God warned us not to break it. And in the keeping of them, or and in keeping of them, there is great reward. So in the keeping of them, there is great reward. So the Bible right off the top promises us a reward if we keep the law. A reward. Hmm. Let's go to Proverbs. See, brothers and sisters, these chapters and verses out of the Bible have never been read. We're, we're telling you, there's... <laughs> These preachers, Proverbs 13 and 12, hope deferred make it the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Ah, so a tree of life is when the hope is desired. But pay attention. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Ah, once again. See what the Psalms and the Proverbs provide? They provide a truth. You have to come back here and read them. So let's take on this again. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. Ah, the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment, which was the word, shall be rewarded. Ah, so the feareth the commandment means to keep it. And again, it says you're going to be rewarded. So there is a reward with the coming or I should say there is a reward coming to those that keep the law. Let's go to, now here's one that may surprise you. Revelation 22. Revelation 22, and I'm going to start in verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He 
And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, which is the law keeper, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Now, a lot of preachers like to say that, oh, well, we're righteous through Christ. No, 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 brothers and sisters. When we look at 1 John, never let them tell you you're righteous through the sacrifice of Christ. No, we're looking at 1 John, and I want you to pay attention, chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 7. 1 John 3 and 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. Let no man deceive you. Please don't. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. You have to do the right. Do means work. You have to do the righteousness of God to be righteous. It is not through the cross. Stop lying to them. You have to do righteousness to be righteous. That's why the Bible says in Philippians, real quick, Philippians. Philippians 3. Paul had to admit this. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law of Pharisees. So Paul was the Pharisee dealt with the sacrifice. Concerning zeal, according to the sacrifice, persecuting the church touching the righteousness which is in the law blameless the righteousness is in the law without sin that's what blameless is come on now these christians got to get serious with us we're not playing with them the righteousness is in the law blameless means without sin grow up now so revelation 22 let's get back to revelation 22 and verse 11 real quick he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. But look at this. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. There it is, my reward. My reward is with me to give, to give every man according as his work shall be, which is as a reward is the service, the effort, and the achievement. It's going to take work to get this reward. It's not going to come through the sacrifice of Christ or just through Christ. It's the work you got to do. Now, let's see what this work is. Let's go down. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and the first and the last. The first and the last, pay attention. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of the city. His reward once again, once again is for they that keep the law. It's still that way in the new Testament. It said it in the old Testament and it said it in the new Testament. The way to get the reward is to keep the law. That is, is the reward Christ is talking about in verse 12. Verse 14, the reward is the right to the tree of life, which is eternal life. That is the reward. And these Christians can't understand it. But we do know this, though. Let's go back to Proverbs. Proverbs 24. Verse 20. For there shall be no reward to the evil man. There shall be no reward to the evil man. There shall be no reward to the evil man. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. But the righteous, which are the law keepers, does sing and rejoice. Ah, so the evil man is the sinner. Proverbs 24.20 for there is no reward to the evil man, which is the sinner. You sinners will not get the reward of eternal life, but instead the candle of the wicked, which is the sinner, shall be put out, second death. The Proverbs are a mystery and worth listening to. 